Hi guys, it's Frosty here and welcome to my workshop guide. Now, before we get stuck in, if it's the first time you come across one of my videos, don't forget to support the channel and hit that subscribe button if you find this helpful. Now, <clears throat> this is for the ones who are getting started on Bannerlord. And when it comes to buying a workshop, it can get can get pretty confused and i found it confusing when i started playing it but due to all my hours i've got got the gist of it now so i'm just going to go through a few pointers now which are going to help you determine what workshop you should buy in um in the settlement of your choice so the first thing you want to look at is basically what settlement you're going to buy so i am um, workshopping so i'm gonna go for Zionica. so what workshop do i build in Zionica? so what you want to do first things you want to look at is what Zionica's main produce is <clears throat> so you want to go to the surrounding villages right whoop that's my uh, mouse hitting the keyboard so what i do by that i go into encyclopedia settlements on there we are. Now, this is obviously the settlement of uh, Zionica, and it shows you at the bottom, bottom on the villages tab what villages are connected to this settlement. So just remember the names, go back, and you go one, two, three. Right. So what produce is in that? So you go click on it, you go primary produ production, grain, sad losses, and grain. So you've got two primary productions of grain. So you know now they've got a large amount of grain coming in to the settlement. But you also want to look at neighboring castles. So you've got Onika Castle by here. And you've got, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. You've got this settlement, which is producing grapes. And you've got this settlement, which is producing olives. Now, these two villages are connected to Onika Castle. But the production they are doing is not going to go to Onika Castle. They are going to go to the nearest settlement. So, that settlement is Zionica. So, basically, you haven't just got grain, sad losses going in there. you also got grapes and olives. So, that gives you now uh, a variety of shops you could buy. But for this purpose, I know that grain is the main production. So I'm going to go and buy a brewery. So let's go into the settlement. Right, an easy way to get into the settlement is just click on one of these. Instead of going to take a walk around the town and take an uh, extra long walk up to the castle, click on talk. right click on it right i must leave now and click so when you're in the settlement then take a look around press alt on your keypad so you can see now you've got tannery a wine press and a brewer right now obviously the tannery is from the horses right let me find my way around now we've got the wine press which is from the wine, but you could change that wine press into an olive press if you like. You know, because they got a production of olives coming in. So we're just going to run up to the brewery and we're going to buy the brewery. Da, da, da. Find it a nightmare sometimes um, running around these settlements. Always get stuck in a dead end. But we go there pretty quick. Go up to a shop worker. I would like to buy this workshop. Yes. Now, if you look on here now, if you've got a brewery on here, you know that this is not a brewery, right? Um, so I don't want to change this production. Yes. Right. So if we leave now. 
And what we're going to do, we are going to wait a couple of days and I'll be back in a couple of days. I'll see you shortly. Right, guys, I've got a couple of days. So if we head into Clang now, you see now that I'm making 120 off the brew run. Now that's just going to climb to around 200 on the good days around 300 now this is just at the start of a literally a new campaign that um i've started just for the purpose of this video and if you want to know how i made so much money this early i will leave a link in one of my videos below in the description to show you how to make literally twenty thousand in 10 minutes yeah and it's not from smithing Right, because I got a lot of people saying, oh, it's most probably from Smithin. It's not from Smithin. It's just a little, um, it's not a hack. It's just a little thing that I managed to uh, uh, pick up on, on my many hours of the game. Right, so you know now that you've got a brewery in here. So that, that that's pretty much it. Now, when it comes to the most um, profitable workshops, it's... Things change in this game all the time. So I, I could do this video today and show you all the most profitable workshops. By the time the other patch comes up. Now this is on patch 1.5.5. By the time everyone starts playing on 1.5.6, it could change. So that's all you've got to do is basically, for example, if you want to buy... Let's go over to Britannia. Um, good example, Pen Canock. Now, if you're over here and you want to buy a workshop in Pencanock, you two to do basically the same. Yeah, you go into the. Um, wait, no, let's go to settlements. Pencanock, there we are, and you look obviously at the surrounding villages. Right. Um, where's two? It's got clay. Um, I don't think that's what that one. Clay. Grapes. You know, you also look at Ab Coma Castle as well. You've got clay. So you've got three lots of clay. Going into Pencanock. So you know now if you want to buy a workshop in Pencanock, one of the best workshops to buy is a pottery. Right? So what I've done for you guys is a little list. Now, it's up to you what you want to do with this list. You can pause, write it down, or if you're on your mobile phone, take a screenshot. So what I've done is I've put a list together <clears throat> of what produce you need um, for each workshop you need to buy. So it doesn't matter what settlement is in, as long as the, these settlements are producing these uh, pro produce then you know then you can buy this settlement uh that workshop in that settlement so and the list goes as follows right, um i hope you in um like the list guys so that's basically follow that list um that doesn't that doesn't really change um so as long as you buy as long as a settlement you decide to buy a workshop in it's got those producers going in it you know i mean you know then what workshop to buy you know um this game changes all the time you guys know that so it can be very difficult to say which is the most profitable but basically a little tip if you know if you wanna the most profitable ones i say are in the most well the most richest factions basically you know and when it comes to buying a workshop you know be careful where you buy a workshop especially in the later game as if you go to war with that faction that your workshop is in not so much as a mercenary but if you are um, you know connected to a faction then you will lose that workshop so just be um, careful where you buy a workshop so i hope this has helped guys um for all you ones out there that um, are just getting started on a mountain blade banner lord which is an absolute brilliant game and um i hope this gives you a little bit more insight on where 
to buy workshops so if you enjoyed this and you found it helpful please leave a like don't forget to subscribe and as always keep it frosty